If you enjoyed watching or want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button. Subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect and we can always improve, so please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com slash 3D and get exclusive access for as low as a dollar a month. This will also give you early access to all of our online content, including comics, gaming, music, and of course more of these reactions. Even if you're not able to do any of this, it means the world to me that you'd sit down and watch my video all the way through to the end. So I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. I'm Axel Grave, and I hope to see you next time for more reactions with the next. Guys, guys, what's up, y'all? What's up? It's time for the Star Wars themed comic convos episode, guys. We finally made it. Finally made it to episode 15. I didn't wow. always think we'd make it this far, man. No. For the I first mean... couple weeks, like, not even just the first week, but even the third week, when it's just like, man, are we really going to make it past this episode? Right? Like, it's are like, we going to find gonna things happen? to talk about? Like, are people even going to be care to talk with us, right? like, on these episodes? Like, I really question that. What's up, Jake? Patty, good to see you guys. Welcome to the room. As well as Cy for being the first comment yeah. of the thing. Thanks, Obviously, Cy. hey. Uh, sorry for the two minute intro, but that's us sharing again thing. We were trying to get that to be our little thing, and we found a public use song, so we <laughs> didn't get booted off of the thing. <laughs> no getting you know? banned this time by Facebook. Oh, we got man. finally got a song that's public use, so we can actually use it. But um, welcome everybody to Comic Convos episode fifteen. My name's Leo Rydell, and this is my compadre here, Axel Grave. And today hey. we're gonna be talking about Star Wars, guys. <sighs> Guys, the new Last Jedi trailer just came out. Did everybody see that? Oh my god! Oh my goodness! What's up, Jeanette? Dude, hey, right. Susie. So we got to talk about how amazing that trailer was, right? Like, I mean, it's it's just exactly probably, like the piece together video, the WWE reaction. Like, oh, it's like, oh, oh, oh my god! It's just <laughs> like, ah. <laughs> like the crushing of the helmet, which a lot of people have been. You know, obviously debating Kylo Ren or Vader. Yeah. You know, did he smash his trophy in anger or did he smash his own mask in like it's emergency? Debatable, you know, like, debatable. You know like, he's he... shown in the trailer without the his thing... mask. Oh man, yo, Jake, uh, Jake, Susie, Patty, Junaid, what's up, everybody who's what's here? What's up, everybody? Uh, and Thanks obviously, for coming in. also we're gonna be giving away a surprise today of a shirt. Also, DH, we uh, are sending your shirt tomorrow. I knew I forgot to get some too. Yep, and we're Congrats. definitely sending out all our prizes, guys. Just yep. be, bear with us. Some of the mailing procedures are just, you know, take a little yeah, bit of time. Yeah, we got caught up in um, some stuff that happens. But yeah, we're definitely going to get those prizes out soon. <laughs> guys, tell us what you thought of the Last Jedi trailer. What did you oh, think? Please. What do you think Luke meant when he said that shaking line at the end? The yeah. Jedi must end. Like, dude. Oh my goodness, Luke Skywalker, the guy who was like, we got to destroy the Sith, the guy at the end of the Revenge of the Sith, or excuse me, Return of the Jedi, who didn't even know. You know, it's like, yeah, it's like, all right. I, I think bringing balance to the Forest is like, you all right, said, but, all right, and we have to, Sith. all right, and we and you have had talks about Luke that we have to, we have to acknowledge our bias. Have to, because we think Luke is whiny. <laughs> a little bit whiny. Very um, strong still. Don't very, strong. very powerful force user, and especially if you and, read the comics, even the Marvel ones, he's depicted a lot more powerfully. Oh yeah, way um, better than he is on screen. Trust yeah, me. Yeah, exactly. He can do. He can also mess with that ads and you know all kinds of stuff. Jake thinks he's going gray. You know, Jake, that's a good theory, man. Like, I definitely think that that's a possibility. I would hope that's where oh, they're going. Yeah, me we've too. Talked about it, and we'll talk about it later because we have tons of quotes and facts and stuff to talk about later tonight. We, this is a super heavily Star Wars theme episode, so we're sorry. We will talk about other things. Yeah, we'll talk about everything. We'll touch tonight, on it, but we are a lot of going to be. We're going to be coming What's back up, Kelly? Life. Good to see you. Like you said, follow the will of the Force. Yes, if you it's think all about it, it's all Jedi. All the chaos. chaos. Yep. All right, well, uh, it's, it's kind of debatable. It's debatable. But yeah. but it, it, okay, so I read this uh, comic this week, Anakin and Obi-Wan, and there's these two factions on a planet that are at war against each other. One's called the open, one's called the closed. They are very reminiscent of the Jedi and the Sith. It's kind of like there's this, in, um, excuse me, this forever going conflict between the two sides, but nobody's really correct in their term. There has to, it's kind of like the Jedi and the originals. It has to have a balance. Right. You know, there has to be that balance. What's up, DH Lawless? Good to see you, man. But there has to be that balance between mm -hmm. both sides. 
for the, you, the warrior you to you do truly connect and it, well. it goes back when so we will obviously we are large opponents of the old school star wars legends Oh, it is used to be the expanded universe EU, but is now Legends because it's been removed from, from mainline main continually. Continue. Although its continue to still includes the original six movies. Yep. It just does not include anything that is it now being made. Includes all the Dark Horse comics. It includes all yeah. the media basically, yep. except for the Marvel comics. And right, movies. and now, although well, now the Marvel car, although now the Marvel comics are canon, so everything in the Marvel comics are now canon. Are canon yep. Whereas everything else we can speculate at comparatively, but not not contrastingly. Um, and so we we've talked a lot about you know, different levels of things. I feel like Star Wars is a universe that is still so well balanced. It is. Because Absolutely. despite how powerful Jedi are and can do these great things, like they look, always rise up and they always get an influence well, on Alright, and here's my other thing. Regular people can still make a difference. That's true. Very you know, true. Now that's not to say that the Jedi's aren't all Rogue One. All usual, uh, yeah. I mean definitely. But even so more than that, like, you know, that we've seen that while one Jedi or Sith could always rise above the multitudes, you know, not every Jedi can do this. And so, you know, they do a lot of time. Uh, they're, that's the whole story of Nomi Sunrider, actually. Oh, wow. That's very true. Very uh, you know, powerful. Her, her husband. What's up, Takeo? Oh. Holy crap, man. How you doing? Love the Marvel comics. The Marvel. We do, too. What's up, Andrew? We're going to start reading. you got to start reading yes, all the DH, comics, but also reading. the Marvel comics. Yeah. There's the thing. The I love Marvel. I'm a Marvel fanboy. I'm Marvel side. But you got to read DC comics, too, because they're DC great. is just as good, guys. I mean, oh, DC I had is great as well. I had earlier about the Bane comic ending in Batman. Oh, yeah. I did. I was so sad about it. It was the worst ending I'd ever seen. Ooh, what happened? Well, uh, can't really spoil. I know. But it was such a great lead up. That's what I can tell What's you, up, unfortunately. Is, and I hate to... And, yo, you got you to gotta check it out, DH. Trust me. We'll, and like I said, keep coming in. Hopefully, you know, maybe you'll get another win and get a comic book. Right now, we will get you that shirt. Right now, the I'm waiting to uh, get... The thing back from the post office, so okay, then yeah, I can send it again. We'll stuff. definitely have it out at ASAP. We are you know, definitely we just run into that. a couple of problems here and there, but no well, worries. we we talked about it. I'd messaged him. I just still have to go to the post office now and send it right on back because I had it there waiting because I know someone the post office. Yeah, it's that's it's true. It's it's there are also other speculations. Like think about the last Jedi trailer. It, it reveals really where the timeline's at. It doesn't even look like a moment has really passed. It looks like maybe a couple of months, maybe at the most. Finn's still in the healing pod. Um, <clears throat> Kylo Ren looks like he just got out of the Here's scuffle. Here's the thing, we just two. don't know, though, because, don't. because years could have passed in him being in Very the healing true. pod. Years could have passed that now Ray has been training with Luke. But, you know, here's why I think you're right. The level of control she seems to have over the Force seems minimal. Very minimal. Very minimal, especially in comparison to how strong we have now seen that Luke and... Uh, Darth Vader were portrayed as in the comics, which I hope will transfer into the movies. Exactly. And, and plus, even even if you speculate in the movies, what, it took Luke a year to beat Darth Vader? You guys should react on camera to trailers and stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know. I feel like you'd be, you more, just see maybe. us be like, right? <laughs> <laughs> just like the guy. <laughs> that, yeah. that, that was me. That was me during the, the cloak Jedi. and Dargan. That that dagger, not Dargan. Oh, oh, all the cloak, all the cloak and dagger stuff looks amazing as well, guys. The I mean, only thing, and I agreed with someone else on beautiful. this, is like was maybe the cloak on cloak, the actual cloak. Yeah. Uh, my thing is, Very I true. want it to be more ethereal, but I like how they're also kind of making it a real cloak. It's a cloak, but it could have been better, you know. What's yeah, up, well, Jamie? Yeah, that's true. But Good to see could... you, man. The other thing is, I don't want it to blow so much away that you can see him because that's not how cloaks supposed to work. Like when he cloaks on him, he's like. Really hard to see, yeah, even in the invisible. daylight. Basically, he's barely just like, visible. Barely visible. Um, I agreed with what you were talking about. Who would win a showdown? Darth Riven versus Star Killer. We've talked. We've had people talk about this, yeah. and I'm not equipped enough to say because I need to know more about both of them. If but I had to put it, here's the thing: Darth Riven, and and so too has Star Killer do with it. But Star Killer, if I remember correct, is this clone. Or is if he I'm, the actual apprentice? I think he's the actual apprentice. Uh, but, so sometimes, sorry, you will have to inform us because not everyone can know everything about the, the Star Wars universe. 
And that I guarantee that's everyone. If you don't believe me, I have some question stuff around here. Oh yeah, absolutely, man. It's hard to know every single detail. Where so, are those? But yeah, I'm with Jake. Actually, uh, I will vote Revan. At the end of the day, Revan has balanced both sides of the force. And that's what I would. He go has with. become an ultimate user of any type of lightsaber. Well, he's taken style. down. He's you taken know, down numerous. And... Yeah, empires. Uh, Sith I love leaders. Movie. Would you watch a movie on Jedi's origin or the life of Yoda? I would definitely do Nave. Yeah. I, I'm I'm fine with the Han Solo movie, only because I think the actors are pretty gonna be pretty good, and I, I like Danny Glover. Really like, good. Yeah, yeah, um, definitely. But I would much rather see like Jedi's origin or Life of Yoda. Much. Oh, rather. absolutely. Uh, like and a Life of Yoda would be greater. And I will say, yeah, I also go Riven. Oh my god! I'd rather Darth have Bane. Yoda's origin. The thing secret. about Darth Bane and all the things about every when you talk about the Sith Lords is they're always at the end of the day beaten by somebody, by someone, because that's how it ends up being. Pr- sometimes and, it's their well, apprentice. I mean, <laughs> well, and that's the whole thing about Darth Bane. Darth Bane is this badass, but then okay, he's this badass, and then his apprentice, apprentice kills him. Sneaks one up on one. him. Poof! No, she doesn't sneak up at all. She one on ones him, dude. I've read some oh, of the scene. Darth she Bane, straight yeah. up fights him. And beats him. Granted, he's older and not as obviously, but that's the whole point. Is like you get a little older and you die. Unless you're like, oh, who was the other one I was reading about? And he was like the Sith Emperor or whatever. But then he gets beaten by. He, he... <laughs> they always get beaten. That's the hey, thing. That's the though. thing, they and that's the problem. And even the Jedi, the problem is like there. It's always ends, and someone comes along, and so it's and like just, it has to be relative or directly versus. Star I mean, Killer even is like COP plus Ashoka is a canon version of Gal and Mal. <clears throat> nice. Mm. Is Luke going Sith? I don't think he was don't go- think is going, going to go Sith because I don't think he's a proprietor of the dark side. I think he's just going to believe more in like a balance, a true balance, not too much light, not too much dark, a true, true balance. Like, and that's what most of the most powerful Jedi have, especially Darth, ba- or, um, excuse me, Darth Revan is the prime example who has had both a lot of Jedi training and a lot of Sith training, but has been able to pretty much balance them out. And he's been a Jedi and a Sith. Multiple times, we know, blah, blah, blah. There's been many times he's betrayed both sides. But a gray Jedi would probably be the most ideal pathway for pretty much any Force user. Well, it would allow you the access to the largest amount of Force abilities and most likely the largest amount of access to the Force in general, both Dark and Light. Yeah, and Dawn of the Jedi, some of the Jedi Order or whatever, the pre-order, they're like using Force Lightning and they're using like all these Dark Side moves that jedi don't really believe in using because it's the dark side of the force and all but it's like these are very powerful offensive moves that can aid any user oh yeah and well they talk about it uh and sorry i will if anakin's granted master. master of the console oh i we have uh, no bad things no no I, a whole by that jedi point, council of baby killers no right? just kidding <laughs> by that point but, anakin was just no yeah he it was, was too much of, he was great I'm Jolie joking. Bindo. That's the way to go. New era Probably trailer released you don't today, do anything. by the way. Can you watch it by the end of the stream? No, I'd love to see mm-hmm. what you think. It has a surprise. We, I'm still just not caught up on Arrow, so I'm just not. Yeah, I don't know. Thank si, you. We're not caught up, though. Jessica, Rated what's R movie up? Vader agreed. Uh, having gone back to when they say it was the original Oh, thanks, Star Susie. Killer, that, Thank you. That's still a fucking tough fight, but I have to go. I don't know. I'm also just a Darth Riven fanboy, so you can Same. take my, <laughs> take my like bias into go. account. But it's like, I just know more about him. Can't hit him with your saber, tase him. (laughs) God. Yeah. Jeez. Uh, Oh, and also we have Captain Phasma back. How powerful is she? How powerful is her influence? Like, she seemed to be like, at the just from like what the trailer kind of like depicted, she seems to be as powerful and on the same level about, mm, as like that general who's with Kylo Ran, that guy. Uh, whoever that but found on maybe even on the same level, she's captain of the force of all the fucking stormtroopers. Well, we'll the and she has to be some kind of powerful threat for her to be brought back like that. Right. The thing is, she's well, it might just be a Chekhov's gun. Like, you know, if you've used, you got to use it again. The problem is, we don't know until we get in there, and even True. then, we might not know. A lot of this stuff is like subjective or like conjecture. When we go by later, it's like, oh, we see them with the same military adornments so we assume that there's the same brass even though then they'll have different holy crap all the comments hold on oh man i know there's so much dark mall kill that we want yes josh that would have been crazy although they're meeting if you read the comic books they do get a meet and then i believe uh obi-wan finishes off he bests him in the comics and he does well he finishes him off in the the rebels 
latest, one of the latest. Did rebels. they finish him? In, oh, so now yeah, that's canon in the new one. Yeah, I was even talking he, about the old ca- comic books where he finishes them off on the farm planet where he was hiding out. Actually, he finds him there, and he has his robot <laughs> legs. Similar, Darth Maul's robot legs. The similar thing actually happens in Rebels. I'm pretty, pretty, pretty sure it's hit the him same thing. always coming on the tire. Thank you, Susie. I'm trying to catch up with Legends. Same here. Yeah, I, I mean, it's There's gonna be no really catching hard up to with catch everything. up with Legends. I need to find that thing. One sec. I'll, I'll find it somewhere. It's just a. It looks like a lunchbox. It's a Star Wars lunchbox. How was Captain Phasma not killed for being a traitor? Hmm, fuck no. Maybe a double agent. Maybe she convinced them that she was she like was good. Yeah, or was like trying, trying to get to it. I don't get know. Get some I, more information. Or all whatever. lost to Obi Wan. He did. He did. But they make him. No, he's he was not dead though. He was not. Dead. Uh but he's he's dead he's now. he is dead um, now. Yeah, because just uh, basically after what happened. Okay, no, that's probably what DH means. Here, basically, what happened in um Leg- in uh, excuse me, Rebels is that it, it's Rebels, kind of a crappy. It no no, this happens in Rebels. Yeah, it's like a really crappy in Legends, Legends as well. It's a really crappy battle. I mean, he does find him on the planet, but like it, they didn't even depict a battle in Rebels. He just kind of puts his saber up, Darth Maul to defend from Kenobi, and he slices his saber in half and kills him. It wasn't too much different in the other one. It was not as crazy a fight as you would think. It was basically Obi Wan being like, "I am one with the Force," and you're a little. That, bitch. That's exactly what happened. I, I and, mean, it pretty much is just and like, like you and your robot legs, legs are shit compared to me with no good reason, which I hated because I love the villain. He is Vader in Rebels is amazing. Uh, I've heard that I have to catch up so much trying to catch up, and trying to catch up with Legends is hard too. What if Darth Maul killed Obi Wan? Would have been a really crazy difference because I think maybe after that he would have like actually taking time to improve himself to be a dark lord of the he would have killed city as possibly i mean at that point i don't could, know about that like uh, he, the problem, if, if they would have given him, given him more time you I know really we just don't know or he's dead how oh my there's so many comments we're trying to catch up there's a phasma novel coming out really i'll check that yep. out cloak and dagger 2 mm-hmm. is awesome wolverine claws versus lightsaber uh my personal opinion is lightsaber, lightsaber possible. Well, all right, so the problem is what you go by by like the physics of the universe. <laughs> yeah. The physics of the Marvel universe state that Wolverine's claws have been even bent on but only on severe occasions. I think they have like a but a lightsaber cuz supposedly port. But I trade pretty much anything. Right, but so well the thing is Adam what does adamantium cut? It cuts light. You know what I mean? Unless he goes for the handle at the end of the day, it's like, all right, does he superheat the claws or melt through them? Uh, but that would think, is this the 420 special? This is the 420 <laughs> special. We're in space. That's how high we are. We're in we're Adamantium one wins. wins. <laughs> I would hope, but I, I, you know, that's my personal family. The strange part about Legends is the crossover just happens and it doesn't make sense. Oh, he's been talking about Legends of Tomorrow. Oh, I, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, Legend of some up tomorrow. Yeah, I, I think unless he's that. talking about a different crossover, I'm trying to think of the crossovers and legends. Do you, do you think, think Ray's daughter? We were talking about this. We talked about this. We talked about this. Maybe Luke and Sabine. Why Luke and Sabine though? Ezra and Sabine. I, I don't know. I want. I really w- want the legend stuff though, and I want the. Old, I, I want the legends too, man. I want them too. And and when he called him Ben, I'm like, oh my god, yeah, Darth Vader. <laughs> oh, Ben Solo! They actually kept that idea, but then I was like, "Well, the twins." Oh, what if exist. Darth Vader killed Luke? The problem is, like, and we've talked about this too in the backstory, and even the stuff leading, like, the comic, all the comic stuff post and now leads to the to the gist that Darth Vader never intended to hurt, to Luke. hurt Luke. Yeah, like it, he cut just, off his hand as a show to as the a Emperor. Show, yeah, but that, but he he knew he would survive with the Force, and that's the biggest speculation, anyway. I mean, the biggest speculation is that Vader actually held back. In Return of the, or yeah, in Return all, of the Jedi, almost at all, at all times, all times against because Luke. he first of all he didn't want to kill his son. He wanted to rule the Why galaxy would he want together with his son. Yeah, yes. exactly. That's and then, that was the ideal situation from the for whole him. time. I mean, he and the thing, the whole backstory of Vader is as soon as the galaxy has been taken over, they okay. Here's he's the trying canon on Admantium. Once it hardens, it can't be melted. Only altered on the molecular level, which is apparently what. But Magneto we don't know did. what lightsabers do. Do exactly. they all? Because we've do seen they? them cut through everything. Does that suggest? Molecular like fission, fission, or you know, and, what and even like what are we talking about? Ionization? Well. Are we talking about you know yeah, some of the stuff true. is like all right? Does does well? Although we have seen that's the thing. Adamantium does survive a nuclear blast. Although I don't know about a direct nuclear hit. Yeah, I'm like saying it's ever not up close. Well, Who the knows? ionization only takes feet place within like ten feet or like ten meters of the point of impact. 
So then there's no, I mean, or the point of, it hasn't been that close to Wolverine ever. Ray is Luke's daughter for sure. I, 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 I can see it. We'll never know what is, okay, here's the canon. Yep, what makes sense. What about Cyclops, lasers versus lightsabers? Then go from there. Now that's force versus, I don't know, like light. So what wins is it, the it, quantum it, force or yeah. light? Light would have to cut through it. I, I, I mean, does it though? Because light is, it depends. But it, it like, doesn't really light even go though. into too, yeah, I was going to say, it doesn't really go into too much about the actual real they can't capabilities. Of... Mandalorian armor. Ooh, that's a good point. Ooh, that is a good point. point. The Dark Blade, so that if Adamantium was, say, similar to that, then no, a lightsaber would not, not win. Oh, wow. That's why one plus Vader slash Anakin has always had emotional issues. He can't control his emotions, he can't focus. I feel like Anakin did. I feel like Vader. Vader, maybe not. I like I said, I the whole the whole gist of his story being that like he was never angry at Luke. Well, a little bit for not accepting his thing to like take over take the universe over with universe him instead of Palpatine that. in the last fight. And so that yes, maybe he lost the lightsaber battle to Luke. Uh oh. Canon says not even Fire Lord can melt Adamantium. And yeah, are the Mandalorian armor still canon? Good point. Uh, the Mandalorian well, yeah, armor, is. maybe not, but the Dark Blades for sure. Yeah, oh, the they, it is though. Mandalorian armor, armor is, is, in, yeah. is in Rebels. Exactly. Which is canon. Can't melt adamantium. No. No. And you can't fission it as long. Like I said, pure adamantium, which is a Wolverine skeleton, is by all <laughs> intensive purposes indestructible. Uh oh, somebody got mad about that one. I think it would cut it slowly. Qui-Gon Saber cut through a steel door in Phantom, and Wolverine lost his claws in the Silver Samurai. Okay, if we're talking about movie version, then maybe, yeah. Maybe so. Although, wasn't the Silver Samurai's sword made of heated adamantium? Yeah, I pose to you, I think Jake so. Piero. I can't even talk about how Anakin was portrayed in the movies. Oh, my goodness. That Yeah, we're, we'll have to move into that type of discussion, because that's... I mean, and, and we're going to hold opinion. He was broody and moody, but... He was broody and moody. But he, I, I talked with her yeah, earlier. I didn't that's like the, well, the silver, for him. The silver samurai in the movies isn't canon, but almost none of the movie stuff is. I mean, like, not 100%. They did a, the best job in the most recent movie. Which you guys, can I Logan. just take a moment to say we're at 34 viewers right now? Oh my god, 37. 30. Hey, thank you guys thank for, you guys for so coming in. Yeah, this is our through. best cast for sure. This thank you for the people who are doing cast. the Star Wars ones. 40? We're trying oh to talk goodness. as much as we can about Star Wars and stuff and use... Facts, facts and, 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 and like we said, we're, we're trying to separate the different things because there's so many different universes to talk about. Pre-Legends, is EU, uh, which, well, which is Legends. Legends. Then uh, you've got then now you've got current the canon, current stuff. which yep. is basically Rebels and I think Clone Wars counts. Or What's maybe up, not Jonathan? Oh Close, Clo goodness. Does Clone Wars count? Do they count that in? Clone Wars counts. Okay, yeah, so they it's said part Clone of the Wars counts. So, and that, that's what we basically have is the movies and then those three two things and that's it. I don't think they've written... Oh, and all of the Marvel comics. Yep, the, Marvel, the comics Marvel comics are comics, now which are all awesome, canon. awesome, awesome. Amazing. The Vader one is probably our best. Dude, one. I have so many or, quotes from the Vader one. Yeah. You guys got to see some of you, the you quotes that we're it. gonna get to. Are like, just we, be like I, I know though for the people who love them, dude. Um, you should look. It might be behind us here, like just sitting on a couch, like some. I have a Vader comic. Oh, I know, but I'm looking for the uh, question or the thing. It oh, should be in like a gotcha, gotcha. It should be in a Star Wars lunchbox. I'm wondering if it's like not under this pillow somewhere or something. Haha. -ha. Under this pillow. Look, guys. Star Wars trivia. Dude, We're going to get to it. I also have Marvel trivia in here, but this is a Star Wars night. Let's so. see. Let us know when you do another Star Wars stream and share it on our page. We're getting close to 5K. Will hey, do. thank you thank so you. much to KO. And uh, yeah, we will. We love to share the love too. So there's a new Vader comic coming out. Yes, there is. And for those who haven't checked out, the new ones and current ones are. The Vader, Vader 2015, two. I thought it was 16. Uh, 15. 2015, yep. It's and been then going on Vader for a Down, which is the one shot, and then the Vader Annual, obviously. Yep. All right, and it's Darth Vader, not just Vader, sorry. But Darth, and then the other one, though, is Vader Down. Let's see, we actually got a question here. What is your opinion on Benicio del Toro's character being Ezra? Benicio del Toro's character. Uh, what? I'm not quite that far into Rebels. Uh, me either. 59, oh, oh, is this an uh, actor? When is Marvel Trivia Night? We can actually do Marvel Trivia Night whenever, because I actually own those cards, guys. The thing is, those some of those cards are easy, and some are extremely hard. Yeah, some These of them ones seem to be it. all extremely hard, and I think they're almost all about the movies. The original three, too, probably. Well, when was this made? These are probably from the same area. I don't know. I'm just going to give you guys one every once in a while if you want one. 
uh, and I'm going to, you know, there's supposed to be some really hardcore Star Wars fans in the, the groups, and sometimes they bash normal people. Like let's, poor let's Leo. All be, let's like all be friendly. <laughs> let's all be friendly. So I please bashed, don't bash really. somebody if they don't know. Uh, but, you know, we're going to give it out. And some of these, we'll, we'll, do like a, we'll do a real quick one and see if you can just say it off the top. But a lot of them are multiple choice. Most oh, of them, got, well, I mean, got another question here. Oh, man. How is Vader left alive? After losing to old Ben in episode three, how is the Emperor didn't just waste Vader there and take a new student? Or be like, listen, Vader, if you either choose... Well, think about it this way. Here's and and I asked myself that question before as well. Think about it. He got there and Anakin was still alive, still yeah, after crawling. He's burning. like, he, this guy is like so the powerful in the force. Is, he can keep himself alive. Even more than that is like, and, what options does he what, really where, have where can at he that turn? Point? Exactly. It's like, like that's his one apprentice. Like until he Jedi. finds a better apprentice, which he's always looking for. By the way, always. He's always in the comic. She is always threatening Vader to be like, I'm gonna replace can, you. Bitch. I can get rid of you. I'm gonna get you rid of you right point. now and find a random force motherfucker, and you're gonna be done. And you're done, dude. He's like, ignore me. Yes. It was easy to control him. Him too he was very easy to manipulate uh and keep in line although vader did always plan to has always oh planned. check this out benzio del toro plays a character in the last jedi but oh is unknown who i don't plays. know who is, maybe he does and maybe it is ezra I'm hope that would be pretty Thrawn. cool Uthron would be cool ezra would be a lot i think would be Thrawn a pretty be nice cool. one uh got a question here yep all right who greeted luke skywalker at the entrance of jabba's palace guys does anybody know? Does anybody know right off the thing? Boba Fett. He is Ezra Boba Fett from Andrew Scarlet. Uh, I will give now give options, which one is A. Ula, B. Cy Snootless, C. Boba Fett, and D. Bib Fortuna. <laughs> Repeat, Ron Overton. So, who greeted Luke Skywalker at the entrance of Jabba's palace? And by the way, this is the official Star Wars licensed mar- trivia game. So if you don't believe me, go t- take it up with them, not me. <laughs> right, right. Not it's me, okay? Official. Ooh. What's the status on the... Oh, we got D. Fett. We got a Jonathan Hayes answer and Ron Overton. are right. Bib, it is D. Bib Fortuna greets him at the uh, entrance to Jabba's Palace. And remember, please do not flame anyone against these wrong, because I'm a, I'm also, like I said, I'm going to give you a second before I give D, the guys. multiple options. So D. yes, D is the correct option. Ooh, look Let's at see, these. we got a question. What the status on the Boba Fett movie? Uh, It's still in con- conception. Yeah, it's they're kind of just like, some... they're trying to get it, like, actually, probably churn the pages once they get Yeah, the I see, some of these out. are they're so, so ridiculous. Out. Okay, so like, so for, here's another one that's a little more tough, because that one's a pretty basic, of, you know, do they know the names? Not super basic, but how tall was the pod racer of Tim Toe Pagalese? And I'm sorry if I don't say P- Pagalese or Pagalese. And I'm sorry if you don't know the name. Pagalese. I know Pagelice. these old movies exactly. I'm the same way. I've watched them since too in fucking in binges for the new movies. Like every time the new movies come out. All right, time to time to, Yep, hours. it's time to go for another one. But uh, I'm just asking now, how tall was the pod racer? And they're, they're asking me just because that's what it's given in the movies. Movies so. anyway. Yeah. Oh, man. Um, they might have given that, though, in the English movies. They might have put it in feet. Very true. So we'll have to do the conversion real quick. Do you want to look it up? Yeah, I'm about to do that. That's an actual question. I'm not denying. They ask. That, like I will say, though, they do give you A, B, C, D. I'm just asking for the more strange. Like, do you actually know? what the exact measurement is but they might uh Mm, somebody's already correct yeah we have someone correct well wait no no one's quite correct Mm -hmm. oh yeah andrew scarlet is once again correct at four and a half feet uh it's listed on here in meters which is 1.37 but it's apparently i don't know why that i guess in england which would be the original production of luke Lucas Studios. Yeah, let me get out the next one here. Here, he'll get you the next one. Here, you can look through. There's a ton. I'm actually surprised everyone's pretty thing. Although, oh, like yeah. I said, some of these are basic and some of them are a little more have you paid attention. Right. And how many puppeteers does it take to operate Jabba the Hutt? Does anybody know? This is a production question. This isn't even, this is like a behind the scenes Star Wars. Uh, definitely like a said, question that I you wouldn't have be, to be surprised up with. Star, Star Wars fans, you guys are. You guys are very dedicated. I mean, we, we watch the behind the scenes and stuff for Star Wars. Four. Four. Mm, so the options are nine, A. Wait, wait, B. wait. We want to wait oh, to okay. see where we're. 
Ah, I guess that's a commonly misread one. All right, go ahead and give them the options. The options is A is nine, B is three, C is six, or D is two. Now this, the, like I said, if you have a problem with this, talk to them. Not us. Google. If there's like a behind the scenes <laughs> thing of like Google. an uncredited puppeteer <laughs> that we don't know about. I'm sorry. They say on the card, those are from the options. And okay? these are licensed Lucasfilm. All right. Ron Overton seems okay. to have come up with the right answer. Yep, and Jake. And we Jake. got Jake, DH, you guys got it. Ron, three. you got it. Three. Although, and the it problem with three. the lag is that I don't know how long it takes right, for you to right. go. <laughs> it's like, because I'm sure you could look up every single one of these questions on like a little question. Right. <laughs> but let's let's ask everybody. Uh, and this I'm is speaking ask... strictly only movies. Which is your favorite movie? Ooh. And which is the least favorite? We're gonna we're gonna come back to these later so we can do more discussion and less absolutely absolute facts. The other thing is these are all I think from before 2015. Gotcha. Give or so take. No so I'll one. ask you some questions about say one of the comic books that you might not know. I'm but just saying that there's a lot of stuff. And those ones are canon now, so you got to keep up. Mm -hmm. Canon is canon. But guys, which movie is the best? Which is the Tough. worst? Andrew Scott. I got to say, you guys do a really good job. Empire. You guys are really amaze me, honestly. Like, right. There's, a, I, yeah. Good job, guys. Like, you <laughs> good leave me job. speechless. Wow. Thoughts on finding out who played in Guardians 2, Rosenbaum. I don't know for that one either. I want to say maybe Rosenbaum plays the... Ego's head. No, it's like, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let's see. We got uh, an order here. We got Avenge of the Sith. Avenge of the Sith. One is Lee's favorite. Yes, Kalen. One sucks. Five, six, four. <laughs> Rogue, Rogue, three, three one, one, two. two. Fa Susie's favorite is Revenge of the Sith. I like or, that. I, res Jedi, I respect that. For whatever reason, I love the originals a lot more than I love. But I think it's prequels. Yeah. Yeah. Same. With I, I could agree with Ron. With I my could own, really respect Ron. I respect Ron's with my only switch being two to one. And my only reason being the obvious reason of I didn't really like uh, Jar Jar, Jar, Binks. Jar Binks. <laughs> he killed that a little bit he for really me. Did. But but even beyond the Jar Jar Binks thing, like I ah, felt he like forgot Force, Force Awakens. Oh, that's true. But no, Force Awakens is part now. So yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, Empire slash Force Awakens as Faves and Episode One and Rogue One as least. Oh, really? Um, Cliff wow, Burton that's... makes an interesting point too, taking nostalgia out of the equation, which would make it Empire. I have to say that my favorite is now Rogue One. Wow, we got a least favorite right below that. Props that for like taking Rogue nostalgia, not nostalgia out of the thing. Empire Force Awakens as Faves and the Episode One and in Rogue One as least. Uh, yeah. Pretty crazy. I, I actually really I, liked I really, Rogue One. I did, but I think for, I liked it for the reason some people might not like. Yeah, it. and it's not very like Five. space. No, I mean it's out. Who plays who since the premiere? Day. Oh, since the premiere. Nice. Rogue, Rogue One, One is, is best, best for, for film, film production, production, close to Empire Strikes Back. Least favorite was probably Episode One or Revenge of the Sith. Yeah, one was just blah. Episode three is the best. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a true Sith fan there. My least favorite being one, Empire, Empire Revenge, Revenge, Return like, of the Jedi, oh, uh, R1, wow, yeah, New so Hope, many comments Force made, Awakens, Phantom Menace, Attack, man, Attack of the Clones was, uh, nah, um, Episode maybe. Three, <laughs> yeah, Roosevelt is really for Episode Three. I don't have, I don't a, have least a least favorite. favorite. Nice, that's nice, and I, I can kind of say that a lot of the Star Wars movies just hold a special place in my heart for being in the universe. Shall we just go go down our list of the order? I mean, I guess we might as well just go ahead and list stars oh, off. God, I, I have such a hard time just going from the top down. <sighs> yeah, like, what, what's your favorite one, though, dude? What would you say? I guess... I, realistically? I have to go Empire for me. Yeah, Empire's always the best, dude. The bending sucks. And everyone hates it, but it's real as fuck, man. The Empire Strikes That's back, the dude. That was the best original one. And it's just has the iconic like quote, as much you know, as you Luke, love I the end of, Re of return you know? you know what i mean as much as you love the end of return and you, it'll always be a classic Look, you, uh, <laughs> you know uh you know dancing ewoks and, and love and unity and the universe is saved it, the re cold reality of luke and vader and the universe is a dark cold giant, giant just cold. bubble of uh, just planets getting destroyed yeah i have to go crazy. empire for probably my top one even beyond like Granted, you you have to look at it. So I don't look at it through the lens of nostalgia, but I look at it through the lens of time being that they did not have the production value back then that they possibly could have now. You know what I mean? Much as I love 
new things like the Force Awakens, and I love Rogue One for the same reasons Rogue that One I love is, Empire. So can we take a quick second? And Rogue so you might One not like is Rogue just One, so I love it. good. The Ewoks are awesome. The Empire struck out. Oh, come on. My thing about Rogue One is that it highlighted a lot of things that the other Star Wars movies didn't. There's a war going on, and and there's you know people it's like in the it. in the originals. There are a little bit of the wars depicted, but not that much. I mean, the, it's following the, Luke and him becoming a Jedi and the rebels. And yes, there's some. The, the thing is, the scenes, war is just, like a, the war is a the background. background. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just the background. For it's the like this bigger is picture where, of Jedi, this is where the Jedi are Vader. at right now. Yeah, yeah, it, it's a much bigger, it's love a Rogue. smaller picture than what it actually. Empire is. today would be insane, and that's what I sometimes would love to see is like a remastering. <sighs> what do you guys thought on the last Jedi, Jedi trailer? Loved it. I loved thought there was it. a lot of stuff great about it. Like I said, I want to see where they're really going to take it because we don't know what's happening. We don't know how much time has passed. It could, it could, and it looks like it hasn't been much time. We discussed that based on how advanced Ray's force powers seem to have developed in the trailer. It, we hope it's not been too long because if it takes her two years to pick up pick rocks, up rocks, that's kind of like juvenile. Yeah. Uh, uh, Rogue One is a plausible war story. People die exactly. Exactly. How many Ewoks died while looking for Vader Helmet? Oh, God. <laughs> so many, I'm sure. Thank God. I want God. to no. see another anthology called The Battle of the Bothans. The Bothans? How oh, many Bothans died to bring you this? Oh, God. <laughs> that would suck. <laughs> it's like, oh, man, I love Bothans. They're hilarious. Yeah. Many Bothans. Oh, man. Family Guy does a really good Shattered Empire Aftermath Trilogy. Bloodline or a great backstory for Episode 7. Where did the Ewoks get a dress for Leia? <laughs> they made it. <laughs> you guys decided on Star Wars Battlefront 2? I yes. am, and I'm excited because they're bringing back a storyline, correct? Yeah, they are, but at the same time, it's like, you're Logan an, an, you're an Empire great. soldier. It's like, eh. Dude, I would love to just Dude, be All right, this. so everyone's down on that, but come on. First of all, We've seen that in different Star Wars games from we the have, of the We have, but Sith, come on, so. I want to be a Jedi or something. Everybody, yeah. we're always uh, Jedis. We, I would much rather become, be a Jedi or Sith What if you become something? a Jedi? You yeah. can be. I, I think you could kind of like play as him in, in a map or something, you know, just well, like Battlefront. Deep in here you here today. Find yeah, the today is going crazy because of yeah. Star Wars stuff, and much yeah, love for everybody who came through from the groups. These new canon books do make these movies these far, far more, more interesting. interesting. Me, the new canon has made The Force Awakens more exciting. Yep. Whereas with Rogue One, great production fills in the blanks. Oh, yeah, but it was not strong, yeah. I will say that the story was not as strong, but because it wasn't meant to, it was filler. It was a war, it was, it's a war story filler. Yep, I mean, it's a it passing, is. it's like, it was, the great parts about Rogue One were, one, it filled in a lot of the plot holes. What's up, Marcel? That we, see, we had man. seen from, you know, uh, three to four, or even just in four in general, of being like, all right, well, what what's, you know, why is everything the way it is? And how did it end up this way? That like, oh, oh well, like well, how yeah. this one port exists on this Death Star, and then we, although we still have such it, this, detail, although, too. although we realistically also need another movie explaining why they do it again Did? for <laughs> the second Death Star, and then another reason why the for granted they put a big shield around it this time, but you have another spot on your planet size Death more Star questions in here. Let's see, Special Forces Empire, who wouldn't love that? Uh, yes, we have heard the tragedy of oh, Darth, Darth Plagueis, Plagueis the, the Wise. wise. <laughs> and uh, Darth Sidious is a little douche. He's a bit of a douche, <laughs> isn't he? <laughs> but, although, if, you, oh, if wait. you've also listened to the rumors of Darth Plagueis the Wise living on beyond death, and cheating death, there's a whole nother thing about oh, that, yeah. as well as his experiments with midichlorians and zygote By formation. By the way, we'll we, uh, have that up later. We love talking about that. Let's like, say, can't wait for the Obi Wan movie. That would be great. That would be awesome. I think they do have uh, that. Well, that not in that game, but in online playing for different games. Imagine Knights of the Old Republic a is game exactly that. that lets you create a Jedi or Sith, and you battle online multiplayer. The new there books and comics like are that, great. Though. I love that the new books and comics are advancing Luke and Vader's powers to the levels that they have, like that the pre-legendary characters at least somewhat have. They have the ability to do these things that you obviously would never see never in the movies. Never see in movies. I mean, will we, still not we even, see. you know, can talk about it now. It's like there's, oh there's midichlorian manipulation. There's 
powers where Jedi or Sith can steal from steal their force powers and get more powerful. Like there are just life draining powers out there that could easily kill people with the wave of a hit. It's like there's crazy stuff that happens in Legends because it's so such an extensive, vast universe. And I still wish it was canon, guys. We right, still dude. wish it was canon. There was so much great stuff <laughs> there in there so about, much great Maul, stuff. about thousands of years before. Thir like it went back like thirty six thousand years or something. Yeah. Back to the back to the original years. Jedi and f the Force Hounds, which were the in the in their oh Sith the Force Hounds were going around and oh god there's yeah, so much people how cool would it be if you could play as Bendu in Battlefront <laughs> that would be funny <laughs> this the is Indians when Luke will join the dark oh, side man. to balance Devin the Force Devin always ah. has to Devin always has to throw that in the Indian's face and this is the perfect place to do it <laughs> I don't care <laughs> Can Invader over Legends Vader uh. I, uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, because you know, the there's thing a is, lot more in Legends. The Legends Vader was very strong, too. Like, even, so reading, I think I was reading the Nine Assassins, Legend Vader could control his lightsaber with the Force, the force. and activate it mm. by will, uh, basically sending it around like a spinning boomerang of death, <laughs> uh, which was amazing. And he can do that now, too, in canon. He's been shown to, but he but can do he, this in Legends this as well. With a snap of now, a finger I will Legends. say that it, it has been shown a lot of cool stuff in, in the canon. In canon now, because I have finished the current Vader run of 2015. I'm getting ready for his new run to kick yeah, in the gear there. to get more. Like 10 chapters back. Uh, I, I, I might agree with you, though, to count, because it, it seems like the Vader of. Can Invader is way cooler. Can Invader is so cool, though. Oh. He is, and he, he's so everything quotable. Everything he says is amazing, dude. <laughs> More than uh, and get don't get me wrong, old Vader was cool, but he didn't talk much. He was very much like movie Vader in the legend stuff. Not as much in the writing, uh, the written, and that's why, and that's more where I see a lot of you see a lot of Vader's craziness is in his written I think stuff. We missed this covers. one is Ray a Kenobi. Uh, Maybe, technically the it. timeline wouldn't really line up. And, like, and then when and, and I think we talked about this. No, it was Godfather me and my buddy Andrew. style film of the Huts. That would be amazing, be dope, Andrew. But, I'd love that. But yeah, we were talking about, um, it actually wouldn't oh, line up because Obi-Wan Kenobi is so like loyal to the shit. fucking force. Like, I mean, he's so loyal to the force. I don't think he would I really lay with a woman. I think and that's... if he did, he wouldn't leave her. I don't, I couldn't see Obi-Wan oh, just man, dipping out. It. I want the movie to bring Roto Hut in. That would be great. Roto the Hut from the, uh, I believe Roto Hut is depicted in the, not the Poe Dameron series. What's the uh, the last Adawan series? What's his name? I always forget. I, I got to recatch up on Let's him. See, Cannon Vader is Don't more choke pure on your aspirations. Yeah. Should Vader, Vader have made that part? It was good. I love enough. that, actually. It was, I like it because it shows A, his poor sense of humor. Um, <laughs> right and B that he is the end all be all like I will well, and even you his question jokes are evil you know what I mean Vader comics then Rebels are one and don't get me started with Vader on Lords of the Sith novel that's true yeah yeah but Vader the new canon Vader is definitely more true to the spirit of Vader and like the badassery of Vader like there's we have so many quotes from in the him new this book night. Tarkin Tarkin remarks about how he is finally having a real conversation with Darth Vader if you oh, wow. if you it would be Bad writing if they made Rey a Skywalker. Agreed. Yeah. But I want it to be the I wanted it to be the the solo twins. From I did too. Canon, I actually, did. I really did want her but to then, be. Uh, but then they and then like that's fine that they made her. The Duchess had a child, never told one one to protect him from the order and also protect himself from breeding with a Jedi. Vader <laughs> has a personable conversation. Obi Wan. Ah. Vader has a personal. Let's let's just not do Obi another Obi Skywalker trilogy like. Don't choke on your How many Like I said, the, the other already. thing is we're like this. We've discussed this with some of the Marvel stuff. Like, where are we going with this? Yeah, are, exactly. Do we realistically, like you said, the Jedi seem to be ending. So, do we enter a new like? She's not a, even a Jedi. Gen well, like generation. a generation. Maybe yeah. there's like a styling thing. Maybe like now it's like Jedi Pokemon or something. Like I know it's not going to be like that, and that would be dumb. But just something <laughs> like some change that is now. We're like, not just the Jedi yeah, and the Sith. we're not just... And even just past that, we're not... Or we're past least, the writing, at least. Or it's just like, past geez. the character of Anakin and the... We've, we've had, we've like, had six had too much of that. And yeah, then another let's get two off. movies. And we have basically. Kylo Ren already, who is connected. Technically right, so Anakin, we're already like, connected. Uh, Tarkin is my favorite Star Wars character. Oh, God. He's such a douche, though. <laughs> he is. He needs to die all the time. What's up, Robert? We need to bridge from something to Skywalker or something else bigger than just that family. Agreed, Zach. 
because the the great part about the Star Wars EU was that it totally didn't matter anything about Anakin at all. <laughs> Andrew, uh, like, Anakin hand didn't choke his wife. Oh, bam. Ooh, burn. That's why they didn't stay together. No, use both and light, light and dark side. Great. Yes. That is what, that's the other thing we're thinking. But the problem with that is then where does our conflict come in for the next set of Star Wars things? Is where Where is our conflict coming for all gray Jedi? And what's crazy? Or, or is it the gray Jedi now fixing the universe, I guess, from the Sith? From the and Sith the, and stuff. And Catching the Jedi. things up from the Jedi. Even, right, yeah. yeah, because the Jedi, like they talk about it. And we, um, because the Jedi have done their fair share of destruction as well. Most certainly. Likely to go to the... Oh, God, there's so many comments. There is. Let's see. Don't, Don't forget, forget Jar Jar, Jar Binks. Binks. Oh, God, <laughs> like you go to how Bendy view things as a balance between dark, like more dumb... More denominations of force users. That would be cool if maybe to get like a gradation of dark and light, like not just uh, dark and light. You have gray and then maybe like yellow or some, some more colors in the blend. What color lightsaber would you individually prefer? Why? Personally, I would have a purple one. I'd agree, but just because Samuel L. Jackson's. Uh, I'd have a black one. As, as like is Mace Windu. Lord Binks. Cool yellow one. Oh, God. Lord Binks. That's the other thing is who do you guys think is Snook? Is it an yeah, original who's Snoke, character? Dude? Or who's Snook? Like, who is that? Snook. Sorry, I've been doing no, the rune shots. The Vaughn. <laughs> Usual and Vaughn. Vaughn we were replaced by... The so, nine movies are solo about really Skywalker did. and the prophecy of the balance. This is true, and the chosen one is... Exactly. We don't need to hear more of the like, chosen one. Like, we've done one. that. We've, we've done so many videos now. So and I know that, that he intended those nine movies <laughs> to be about those people, but then after that, we got to move to something else. Uh, Marcel, I think Solo is actually really dead because... Uh, um, I mean, that Harrison you, Ford said he's done with the series after this. So for, it's like that's yeah. one thing. But even if the, beyond that, like, all right, where's the impact then? If you don't kill if him, you off? don't kill him. Kind yeah, of the that same was Kylo's ben. impact. Yeah, ET is a Force user who traveled to the Milky Way and got stranded. We've talked about that uh, <laughs> about that connection <laughs> and how they've made that. It's like you see the ET versus the Steven Spielberg thing in the Council. Oh no! Uh, no kind of no. hope he has a new villain. Mace Windu. I just need someone. To be, oh, he, he doesn't need to be, but a lot of people think he is, and that's Mace why Windu? we asked you. A lot of people think he is. I I love that. Except for yeah, I but at the same time, I want him to be an original. Like, let's just take some new. Snoke paths. is a clone of Luke from the Hand Retrieve. That would be pretty crazy. That's a pretty good <laughs> Yoda versus Palpatine. Was it oh, a draw? Man. Yeah, I would say. I, it was I would say it, it was, and I want you to extremely consider the state of both combatants in this situation. Exactly. Both combatants are nowhere near their prime. Uh, Yoda is nearing the end of his, his life, life cycle. Yeah. Well, even just relatively speaking, all right. You know, thinking about it, yeah, yeah, no, Yoda has been along a lifetime, and he is a long-lived species. Yeah. But if you did that in relative terms, that means he's in his hundreds or whatever for. That being, means he's been alive for a minute, and that and means he's he old. can't move. He can't move with death. flexibility. He's doing everything with the Force. Yeah. And Palpatine's been so damaged by Mace Windu and the time effects of being a human. Granted, the Sith Lords are famous for being life and longevity, hundreds of years. But but I would say that in that instance, that the Due to the circumstances of where they were both at and age, etc., that that would be a tie. You could even things. say, and you could even in which I tell because it's mostly a force battle anyway. It's Snoke mostly a far, by the far away eight. battle. I think that Snoke will die in nine because of the way Star Wars movies tend, tend to, to like to work. To they like Sidious to take died in well, not just that. We talked about how there's a lot of uh, repeating patterns. So the repeating pattern of like, all right, in the first of the three, the trilogy, the the master dies. Snoke is the father of every Ray, time. Who is every a clone time of the Luke, master dies in the first trained episode, by the Empire. So That's don't believe me, go crazy. crazy. <laughs> and and this one, this one's the father as opposed to the master, but it, it's somewhat applicable because it's still like Ray's semi master slash O oh, mentorish thing. Yeah, Zach, come on over to the Comic Con. They, they page. are circular, and have, I love that because it's like a theme and a thematic thing, and they change it slightly all the time so that it's thematic but different. And they're very good about these these nice yeah, epic storylines. Zach, definitely come on by the Comic Con page. Um, join the group as well. We have an exclusive group um, that you can request to join. Just look up Comic Convos and you can join it. Or, of course, come to the page and like us. And, yeah, you know, we do these videos oh, yeah. every single week at 7.30 p.m. MST. Uh, uh, usually back. they're not as focused on... As, know, uh, as, uh, yeah, we, we usually kind of loosen everything. it up and cover a lot more. Uh, we And we did here, too. We've talked about and crossed over when people suggest other things. Uh, you know, we've talked about that trailer and all these other things. We've got the Guardians of the Galaxy, Fast and Furious... 
Oh, man. And the great receptions are already coming out on G Garden. Yeah, they are. Uh, so is Ray the possible the turn to the dark side. There's a far more evil presence on the unknown regions and joins the Empire knowing they are evil, but they are powerful. That evil is most likely to be Snoke. Also in the Aftermath trilogy, it mentions Papa Palpatine feels a strong dark side presence in the unknown regions. Mm-hmm. See, I would love to see something about that to KO because there's, and we've talked about this, there's always an offshoot of the Sith side. Because despite Always. the fact, but despite the law of two, which isn't canon right now, by the way, anyway, it's not. No, because Darth that's, Bane is Darth Bane canon isn't canon. Anymore. So um, the law of two shoots. was always not followed. Like there was always secret apprentices and masters who survived being murdered by their apprentice somehow by like mind ghosting. And, and, and if there was spirits. ever a Jedi willing to. Best Star Wars game ever. Work with them, bam. Hard to say, especially because I haven't played them all yet still, Ron. Uh, I've heard great things about Knights of the Old Republic, though, too. Um, Cloak and Dagger, trailer, thoughts. I say Snoke is the new villain, and he is, but he's going to so die in good. nine. That, the Cloak and Dagger trailer looked Ray Possible Return of the Dark amazing, Side was a cliffhanger. Amazing. Did, wait. Maybe I get I don't think what? so. That what? didn't. Where are you? I didn't. Uh, I was looking at Aaron. He was a little bit farther back. Also, thank you, Luis, for following. You are oh, awesome. Ray possible turn to the dark side. I don't know about that. I don't, I don't think there's there's gonna it. be a dark side. He was like, a vision of to... Yoda and quote Darth Bane is canon. He was a vision of Yoda. Is oh, he? Oh, awesome! Wow, yeah. I didn't know that. Okay. Ron. I gotta yeah. watch more. There's so much Clone but Wars. But at the same time, he might be canon, but still, the rule of two is not. Why hurt. did they mention? The... Did they mention the rule? That, of two and we've that talked episode. about that. Every, like, despite the fact that Darth Vader is still canon, a lot of stuff Darth Vader did is still canon. Nothing Darth Vader did in any of the ninth, you know, the ninth assassin in the uh, the Order or whatever. The none of that's canon anymore. It's it's just until they tell us it's canon, we can only make inferences until they reference something, until they they mention it. So, for, for example, if he mentioned the Ninth Assassin in a comic, then, exactly, then, then it would then make it canon. Or if they mentioned the, the Rule of Two, but I've still and never... At the same time, it's like, how but maybe canon they have is Rule it? Of two was to... mentioned. See, all oh, right, Rule of Two was, was mentioned. Good. Okay, they gotcha. do. But even regardless, we've talked about it. They break they've the Rule of Two all the time. All the time. They've had secret apprentices. They've Darth had Maul other organizations. Darth Maul had a organization. secret apprentice. Darth Vader, Darth had, Vader a had a secret apprentice. apprentice. Yeah, Despite they, uh, supposedly only having one apprentice, Emperor Palpatine's always, always had threatened, threatened to have many more instead of Vader. Clone he even Wars. wanted the twins at one point. If Anakin's a Force ghost, he was in... Thank you, though, Ron, for letting us know. I gotta watch more Clone Wars. But there's Definitely. Like so many seasons. Per- Dan there's Rebels, like uh, 10, I think. Or how many seasons? Are there? There's like 8, I think. The thing is, the like, Palpy never really 12, followed the rule of 2. No one ever followed the rule of 2. No, Everybody. I mean, think about it. Even if a Jedi was just willing to work if with Anakin them, they would let them work with them. He can take a physical life form. Couldn't they? I think there have been where? instances, oh. but I thought that it was more that they could interact with physical life forms. Ray has a lot of anger in the TFA yeah. novel. I think Dark Ray could be... Well, I think any dark side could be possible. That's the whole point of the Force is, you know, you gotta use it correctly. Yeah, she and she does have a lot of anger from being Rule, abandoned. The women are irrational, unpredictable. I mean... For, for, for a battle out of a great Clone job, Wars six, Season 6. Oh, man, nice. Yoda mentions the rule, too. Gotcha. Oh, well, man, and he'd know. What's the deal about the Jedi? Aren't what we think they are? I mean... We we don't know until they say, say but I mean, yeah, if you go off just, of old things, the Jedi have always been... The Jedi have been, always been pretty much... To be honest, they have that motive of the la- the light side being the predominating part of the Force, and there has to be a balance. The so Mandalorian like, Wars. Uh, well, they always have to take a side, and that means that someone someone's always... Someone's always going to... Well, they don't always have to, but then they end up doing it. But we still have a Darth Revan in canon. Mandalorian Wars were just made canon rebels, but we still don't have a Darth Revan. Ah. Oh, gotcha. Well, yeah, then like I said, you can only make so many assumptions. Also, one episode, Mace and Yoda mentioned the rule of two in Phantom Menace. Wow, did they? Just think about the Ray being a reincarnated Anakin theory. Ah, uh, uh, they maybe, did mention the rule of two in, in Maybe, but I just, I really want to get away from that chosen thing and the Anakin Yeah, no, thing. no, no, no. Uh, that Susie said later that no, she doesn't believe in that. I don't believe that either. What do you guys think about Ever the Ray being uh, so no. It's the beginning of the end. I, it might be, but I don't. Maybe. I mean, I've heard a lot of people were sad about that, but I, I'm going to watch the next movie. Same. Star Wars lore has a whole era that follows rule of two, but another era is also the South Wars, where it's every Sith for himself. Yeah. 
Very true. It's true that there's that been quite weird. a few. There's been quite a few instances where it's been every Sith himself. The Let's original see. Sith was like that. I Let's mean, see. it was based. <laughs> they fought. I mean, and they had like an empire, but at the end of the day, they ended up just all Siths for themselves. I don't think they that Ray is a race, though. Let's see, Ray is Palpatine. <laughs> yes, no, sucks. <laughs> I'm just like, okay, guys, I'm gonna go. Thank you for making. Hey, thank yeah, you for making for coming our out. Night, yeah, for thanks for making these. ours. Trying to view the Jedi are evil. And, mean, and that's where the Sith come in, and that's where they exactly. have their DB ideals. Exactly. units were created as therapy droids for rebel pilots after Return of the Jedi. Do you think that Luke designed the BB units for his own pilots? Or do you think Luke created BB-8 the same as the Jedi did? Hi, oh, Nicholas very, Thank you Hey, Nicholas. Through. That's very that's very insightful, Jonathan. Yeah, that is a pretty good... Uh, uh, maybe so. I mean... He seems therapeutic. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> He's awesome. Yeah, I'd laugh as at him. a vet, I like that idea of BB-8. Oh, nice. Nice. Did Jonathan just say P.O. is a Jedi and waiting? Wait, what? Oh, Poe? No, I don't think he said that, but... Hey. That'd be pretty crazy. That would be cool. Are we all just Jedis? <laughs> right? It's like, no. They Do you don't. ship in Star Wars? If so, who... Oh. <laughs> who would get together? Uh... Poe Dameron, yeah. Um, I mean, maybe, but... Maybe. <laughs> It's so like they, it's the kind uh, of setup is like are they setting up Finn to be a Jedi? Yeah, Maybe. it's like uh, he held the he lightsaber. He held the lightsaber, but can anyone can held all the lightsaber or do they and all Han do just Solo, immediately Han Solo cut... grabs on the one. So oh, it's that's like, true too. Uh, it's like was he going to be a it, it, Well, although wait, you don't you don't have to be a Jedi to hold being it. Being drawn to force sensitive. Oh, well, could be. Wait, he's although, got a point. Poe is a beast. Poe is a beast. Yes, he is. And if you follow his comic, he's actually I'm a Jedi beast. in waiting. <laughs> They're all Jedi's in waiting, yeah. I guess I'll answer Kimberly's question. I don't know if they'll take a romantic approach this time. I mean, maybe Ray and Finn, but I don't think the whole Poe and Finn is a thing. Like, I think that's just a fan speculation, and fans are making that part up. I don't think Poe and Finn would be romantically together. No. But, mm, I don't know. I don't even think Ray and Finn would be romantically together. Who knows? The thing is, I don't know how much room they're going to leave for romance in this one, seeing as how exactly. the weirdness got in... The original trilogy, and we, they might be end up revealing Just some new like, secret whatever, later. It's like, oh, we were sisters, but wait, didn't you try to kiss me two movies ago? No, right? no, 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 it wasn't. <laughs> I was a scramble. Let's see, look at his scenes. He kills like 10 pilots. Oh, that's true. Oh, and well, like true. I said, if you check out his comics, he's pretty badass. Are you guys Jedis? Of course. Everybody is Jedis. No, we're not all Jedis. Some of us are Sith now. Okay, <laughs> I know what you are. Here was some tension there. Oh man, Kylo, Kylo and Ray are brother was... sister. Spoiler. Spoiler: I mean, we've thought about that. We thought seeing... it was, but eh. Poe is not a Jedi. His parents were a female pilot and a male Pathfinder during the Battle of Endor. Doesn't mean that you're not you're not capable of being a Jedi, though. Is Luke Skywalker going to dark side? What do you guys think? No, no, more like more of a gray, gray Jedi. Jedi we're yeah, hoping at approach. Least. There's too much more to focus on than romance. It's exactly. There's, a There's just so much going space on. politics, guys. I mean, come on, Star Trek. No, I'm just. <laughs> but like, seriously, you're right. There's so much. Finn was a dude. A oh no, dudes, I'm sick. Was a strand. I mean, of women. did you see my shirt? Yeah, he's got a Sith shirt. So he's got the dark trooper, the death trooper there. I mean, so. Uh... Uh... It's like I am Darth Axel. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> yes. But uh, you know, you, I mean, join the dark side. We have cookies. Oh, uh, uh, whatever. The light side's better, guys. Not. Nah. Uh, balance mean, yeah. is the best. We all know. We, you know, seems to be the best. Darth Revan was one of the best warriors. Uh, I mean, you know, he was. He was on the dark side too. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Captain uh, Phasma is Finn's oh, mom. Man. I don't know. She's played by Brienne of Tarth, so I don't think so. Slightly off topic. What do you guys think about the Aftermath novels? Haven't been able to get too far there's into so, them. There's, there's so, so many novels many. we're getting. I'm still catching up on the main chunk uh, of novels. Con canon co novels and comics. And like, comics, too. Comics. Yeah. There's there's a Leia comic. There's a regular Star Wars comic. There's now a Luke. And there's no oh, wow. We got somebody from and... Brazil. Hey, hey there, Thiago. Darth Axel, ha ha ha. <laughs> uh, yep, exactly. It's like, oh, Darth Axel. Who do you think Supreme Leader Snoke might be? We had talked about that a little bit earlier. Hopefully he's an original knew, character. And we're hoping that maybe we get, suit, like, suit, and, and suit. honestly, uh, Ron talked about it, that the Southern Region has been mentioned in several different canons to be, uh, you know, an area of interest to people. Uh, I thought now might be, since we have so many, we could throw out some of our facts. Yeah, definitely. 
That would uh, be a good idea, I think. And mine's is, for the people who don't know about the Star Wars Legends, which was prior to Star Wars EU, and obviously a bunch of you guys do, thanks for turning in and being the awesome super fans you are, but for the people who don't, I want to keep them informed that, you know, the Legends uh, timelines included Jedi and Sith who could use the Force to do things that you'd never dream of in the movie universe, well, in the movies. The Force could be cause could cause stars to go supernova, remove people's ability to use the Force entirely, and even yep. then drain someone's life force to extend to their extend own. Extend their own. It, like, Wasn't it, Palpatine doing that? He did. I think he had kind of the, like Plagueis had looked he into did. it, and Palpatine had like said, "Well, there's ways that you can live," but there were only very few. Like the Sith Emperor did that. I think Darth Bane did Darth that Bane for a did while it a or something. Yeah. Uh, maybe I'm wrong on Darth Bane. I need to do more reading because he has. So I just got to do things. honestly. I got to do some rereading because it's well, been it's, a been while years, since dude, it's been years, dude. It's been years. You know, and they're in their novels and they're. They're Speaking of these of like crazy powers, like my my first fact would be that Darth Plagueis, who was um, Sidious's master, by the way, um, experienced him and him and uh, um, oh, see, Sidious Jedi, actually Ross. did these huge experiments with um, midichlorian. Oh, no, Susie's gonna they did me. a lot of midichlorian like manipulation and stuff. So they did like all these different experiments, like spreading dark force energy across the galaxy. And basically what the Force did is it rebounded that and actually impregnated Shmi Skywalker f to take down the Sith because they had done all this experimenting, which really wasn't meant to be done. It was basically physics getting back at them, which is what conceived Anakin Skywalker in the Legends so timeline. All right, we're going to cut back course. to some questions. What if episode eight will be, or nine, I think that it is, is that eight? No, that's like, what? Will be the echo of episode five. I heard that from the celebration with at at ads training Ray. Uh, if, no, that is eight. Sorry, my apologies. Uh, that it very much could be. And we've talked about that how they do that in their trilogies. They are very typical in continuing themes and ideas from one to another. Uh, did you notice that it is Luke's ship in the background of when Ray is a child? I wow, did I did not see that. I did not see that. I'd like to check it. Darth Nihilus, baby. Yes, that's nice. Holy crap, I think I'm behind in the comments. Oh, they're all over the place. Anakin yeah. would never have turned to the dark side if it wasn't for Darth Sidious. I agree, but I I also will say that that had somewhat to do with his past. That like there were contributing factors that led to him. He being was a able slave his whole uh, for his life, uh, not his whole life, but for his well, for he, they even talk about he was recruited later than Padawans are usually he usually recruited. recruited. Yeah, um, he. He always had strong emotional ties, and because he had no father at all, because he was born of the Force and his mother, uh, he was so such a powerful child and so intuitive that, you know, he he understood intuitively that the Jedi Order was a very strict, sometimes not always beneficially strict. Yeah, it was uh, kind of like he had some and, ideals, but he still had love. I mean, it's so hard. he had love. Yeah, he had love and connection, especially with yeah, his mother. I agree with him. But the timeline might not match for the drop off of Luke, just because. Well, the other thing is we don't know about any interest of other parties for Luke. So who is Luke's second? Exactly, party? who is Luke's wife? And, <laughs> and uh, all right, any cities, four storms, and wormholes that could destroy entire. Oh yeah, yeah. He had some crazy stuff. Do you guys realize the 4th of May drops on a Thursday this year? Oh, man. Mm, nice. That's going to be crazy. May May the 4th be with you guys. Yeah. We'll do another we'll Star Wars stream most likely that day. I heard that there was a group of aliens that were so strong with the Force that they could teach non-Force sensitive people to use the Force. Is this true? Um, That was the Sith. The Sith, yeah. The Sith, the Sith. eventually teach the sisters of Dothamir and because other races. That, that's the original race of the Sith, isn't it? it I think they are originally the, the a race, like a red-skinned yeah. race of yep. Force users. Of course. Uh, that, and I don't know how that eventually branched out or from before. Or no, that's how they have the Force Hounds, remember? Yeah, yep, exactly. And that's how they ended up. They like tortured them or something until they could become... It was some crazy there stuff. Was a, there was so much crazy. I think that's Tales and of the Jedi, And they end up getting Force taken Storm. down. Just, yeah, that whole. If, if you guys remember saved. more, we've been trying to catch up on everything, but there's so oh, much. Shit, May the fourth on a Thursday. Let's do more trivia. Trivia. Yeah, uh, let's bust it out. I'm sure these guys are gonna kill it, so I hope we'll, we'll <laughs> go to the bottom of the pile, uh, where not the hard questions, but the questions we haven't been asked yet are. So. Yes, yeah, Susie, watch Rogue One. Tell me about Lord Bane. Oh God. I wish. We could go in the hours about Bane, just Bane himself. Take a few Oh man, that one's on. a little too easy. This one is a little more of a, like, kind of, 
do you remember the things, but I'll do this one. What attack pattern did Luke Skywalker order at the beginning of the Hoth ground battle? Ooh. So we'll give it a couple seconds here before we start giving options uh, to let everyone give their answers. No one's yelling at you, Susie. I did. <laughs> Watch Rogue One. All right, he's yelling at you, Susie. <laughs> Are the Rakata? Oh, that's right. That's what they were named. They they weren't yeah, the Sith. The Sith the ended Rakata. up being. Or what were they? But they yeah, that's so cool. No, that the was Sith it. was a race. You're right. Though. They were a race. They were, they were but they, but they, they that's the one that they are, and they were the ones with the four sounds. Yep, Delta pattern, and that's why I was like, that one's a little bit simple, but all of them. <laughs> uh, let you know. Go ahead. I'll see go ahead. With one. More. Yep. Let's see. Oh wow, yeah, like this one. Who? I'd love to see someone do this one. Let's yeah. see here. How did the Imperial probe droid know that Han Solo and Chewbacca had discovered it? Pretty, I think that one's kind of easy. How did the Imperial probe droid know that Han Solo and Chewbacca had discovered it? Can we do more who versus who makes a great debate? It does. It does. We'll definitely get to some more of that side. We will. Absolutely. We can even do some... Don't you guys hate that stormtroopers can actually aim, but people say they miss every shot. If you can, if you can see on the episodes, on they actually aim. That's true. They shot first. The, the stormtroopers cannot aim. You're very right. No, guys. Han shot first. No, you you'd think so, right? Shots fired. You'd no, think everyone shots thinks fired. shots fired. Chewbacca, Chewbacca roars. roars. He goes. <laughs> he does his famous roar, and then like, bam, the there it like, is. It's awesome. But that, like you said, there's some that are just uh, tiny little ones. At least that's according to the card. Like you said, if we're wrong, you know, we're sorry. And then, you know, yell you at the Google, company. You can yell at the company. <laughs> right, yell at the people uh, at the card. This one's one of those production co questions again, which I don't know why is in the thing. Uh, who was the chief model maker for the film? Hey, Nicholas. Hey, Donovan. Nicholas. Good oh, to see you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Then just the Miss they just main, main, characters. Characters, main characters. Yeah, plot armor is yeah. a heavy, heavy. Heavy thing in Star Wars. Very heavy. Oh, it's heavy everywhere, man. Yeah. It's the heaviest of uh, Except Game of Thrones. Yeah. Which even it's, it's starting to form some following. Yeah, you gotta have a little bit. What does the clone army even do? It's like paper mache. Yes, it is useless. It's paper mache, Wesley. Clone troopers were accurate. Clown troopers were accurate. It's true. <laughs> yeah. Storm troopers are great aims. Fair enough. Uh, uh clone, clone troopers. Tro they were not. They, they were, were not. interesting. <laughs> the thing about it was clone <laughs> troopers were the, all the clones of <laughs> that I had. Yep. Uh, <coughs> which is or just not Boba Jango Fett. Fett. Jango Fett. Yes, yeah, sorry, apologies. Weird. Well, isn't Boba? No, Boba, Boba Fett's Fett his is. son. No, he's his son, isn't he? Is he his biological? Son? I thought he was. I thought his was biological clone, son or like a personal clone. I thought he was a clone. Okay, clone. Yeah, all right. Stormtroopers are great aims. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. The chief model maker is Lorne Peterson. Hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't pretty... guess that one. I like that. It's gonna be. Um. Ooh, I'll go ahead and do this one. Who portrayed the Emperor in the second version of the special edition of The Empire Strikes Back? Ooh. So this is the imp this is the DVD remaster and whatnot. Uh the second version of the Emperor. Second version. Let's see. Person clone without growth accelerant. Yeah, ah, that's, that's what right. I thought. He was a he was a smaller clone. That's like right. He was a regular personal aging clone. clone. Thoughts on TFA. The Force Awakens. Oh, I thought it was really good. I thought it was pretty good. I thought there was some big holes that absolutely, but they were the same holes that the original exactly. trilogy and had. And these are the holes like, that they right, have to Why fill. do you keep doing the same weapon threat? Like think you can't about have it, the though, same. That's like making Freezer Seven. You know, it's think like, about it. It's almost like a copy paste of four. A little bit. Who is your bounty hunter? In mind is Dirk. I like. Uh, and it's mostly for the name. It's what's her name? It's she worked with Boba Fett, I think, or maybe it was Django Fett. Uh, z, z, it starts with a Z. Zan Weasley, or I, I she like, was a sniper. I really liked Boba Fett, and it was a woman, I believe. Who's your favorite? Boba name? is an unaltered clone of Django. Yep. Okay, good. Darth Vader. Do you think Star Wars is going to be continued with or without Luke Skywalker for future films? I think I'm hoping they will. Will and then yeah. without. Uh, like that. just slowly phase forgot out. the name of the actor but it's the same one from the prequels I don't know the name so I it's, it's up to Leo do you guys have the answers no it's not him um it's Ian McDermott Ian McDermott <laughs> 
Let's see. Batman versus Black Panther. No prep. Discuss when ready. All right. So we've had this thing and people are like, they list off Batman's list of achievements, his mastery of mostly blank, 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 blank. And what I will insert in there is if you go research Black Panther, he will have basically every single one of those. And here's the thing. For everything Batman has been trained for to, to fight crime, the Black Panther was trained from birth, from birth. birth to do the Not same. only that, but with entirely more money, entirely more entitled privilege as a, as a king, but also a demanding expectancy of being held, held to the to highest, highest standards of being a king. Because that's what a Black Panther is in And then country. to put on top of that, don't forget that the Black Panther without any technological enhancement has superhuman so, abilities. abilities. The ability yeah. to run faster than uh senses heightened yeah, heightened heighten senses uh increased superhuman Super strength. strength. Yep. I mean just all the you know the the batch of powers that comes with Basically, being like you know, they talk about he's faster than Captain America. Yep. Um who theoretically runs as fast as a normal human could possibly run. At all times, at, at their peak physical condition, any normal, any human. normal that's human. the the theorem behind Which, that's faster than Batman theoretically. Now, with, like you said, with no prep, then I would probably give it to Black, Black Panther. Panther. Now, Easily Batman no is a great strategist. Even then, like I said, I have a little bias, but it's because, like I said, Black Panther has been trained from birth, from birth. to be and the, his a and king his purpose is a lot. Even maybe even a lot in in the Marvel sense greater because he is the greatest fighter of that land and he was trained from that since the very beginning of his time. I don't know. Like I said, I, I, th I think even uh, their fighting is close, so. but it's very hard to say anything when you have that. Anyway, we'll try to see if there's anyone who has anything to weigh in on that. But besides that, if we discuss Black Panther Listen, and Star Wars Night, then the discussion of Jar Jar being the ultimate Sith Lord is legitimate. I mean, I still think he is because he killed he killed that Star Wars movie. I mean, he was the ultimate villain in that movie. Fuck Maul. It's like, yeah, <laughs> I hated Jar Jar more than I hated Maul. I'll tell you that much. Oh, Thanks God. for the Star Wars talk. You guys are amazing. I have a polygraph test in a few hours for the Imperial Academy. Wow. Good luck. Well, good luck, Jonathan. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, but we will try to get back to the Star Wars. We won't always have a Star Wars. Like, is, is too easy. We will win yeah. Dirge or Boba. Dirge, Dirge or Boba? Uh, uh, yeah, probably. I don't... I'd give it to Dirge. I'm an old school Boba Fett fan, though. But Boba Fett got beat up by a, you know, a Vibro or, or Vibro X, so... Sorry, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably going down. Batman is too OP with prep, in my I opinion. send a huge text about clones. I copy and pasted it. Oh, man. We'll have to get to that eventually. He was used by the Emperor to get him in power. Please, let's not he discuss helped. Jar Jar. <laughs> oh, God. All right. We won't discuss no, Jar Jar. Jar, Jar. Fine. He's done. We'll discuss something else on one of these cards. Yeah. Let me see another question. Um, I want to ask something most people would know. Who was the gold leader in the Battle of Endor? <laughs> the gold leader in the Battle of Endor, guys. Who was it? <laughs> oh, man. Can't be Scarlet. I think he knows. Oh, I'm sure he does. <laughs> Most people probably know that one. Come on, they know who who's gold leader, guys. Sometimes I wish I knew the. Brendan said, "Sorry." Ah, uh, you're fine. It's all good. We'll check it out when we get a chance. We just can't check it quite on stream at the moment. Oh man, it was gonna be probably like another thirty. Crickets. I was expecting that. There we go. Takeo, Lando. I don't know. That took a little while. Someone might have went and searched. Yeah, I was like, hold on. <laughs> I, I don't know how long our lag is, so. That's true. I mean, Takeo oh. has been very on point. Yeah, I, I expect Takeo probably knows that. But yes, it was definitely Lando. So Takeo Lando got it. Lando Calrissian. Dallas Rex in the aftermath. He might, he might Supreme Leader Smoke. Oh, maybe. Uh, Lando, Susie. I hope, we just hope that Smoke is a, a new Sith offshoot. Let's see. Where did Chewbacca find a troubled C-3PO in Cloud City? So where did Chewbacca find C-3PO? Let's join Vader. <laughs> yeah. John John Vander? John Vonda. John Vanda. Dutch. Dutch. Hey, nice to meet you, Jason. Uh, Let's see. Where did Chewbacca find a troubled C-3PO in Cloud City? Porkins as the best rebel pilot. Oh, man. I mean, uh, as lovable or, you know, effectiveness? <laughs> it's like, because <laughs> as lovable, yes. As effectiveness, maybe not. 
Yeah, just thanks for the share, Adrian. I hope that uh Oh man, so many watchers by the way tonight. You guys we've you've obviously you guys are probably killing our uh our expectancy for our next <laughs> videos. <laughs> but thank crap, you so much for joining. Amazing. Like obviously you guys are doing and you're doing so great on the question. Yeah. Droid machinery from Nicholas Donovan. Droid machinery. Do we have anyone else in the machine room? And maybe this one's this one's another popular question, Matt. Oh wow. Yeah. Uh, since we've got more crickets, I got one for you. What did Darth Vader tell Luke Skywalker about the name Anakin Skywalker? And then about our, about the Cloud City is actually in a junk pile. You guys were pretty much the, pretty much on it. Droid machinery uh, in the, the machine pile. room. Yep, so the junk, is, it's a junk, junk pile, pile, which is, which in, is in the machine, machine room. room. So yeah, some so, maintenance yep. room. All right, so that was good. Uh, what is a metal trash can being taken from the of knots? I think he was talking about the other thing. About oh. the, which it was kind of. But but yeah, so if you guys know, what did Darth Vader tell Luke Skywalker about the name Anakin Skywalker? It's a pretty classic line. Mm -hmm. Said, I just expect more people to know this a little bit of lag, too. too. So we can... That's true. We're trying to wait for the lag. We don't know exactly how long it is, so... <laughs> you know, I could probably... Can't remember, <laughs> Andrew. That's okay. I don't know either, Ellen Anthony. Oh, so we have about a twelve-second lag. So he said it no longer had any meaning for him. Ooh, so deep. It's very deep. Now, everything Vader says is amazing. All the quotes we have for Vader tonight are awesome. Uh, let me see if I can pull some up. Yeah, man. Uh, we've we've gotten Here's through one. a lot of the talk stuff. Oh, sure. Oh, sweet. Um. You know, one of my favorites uh, quotes from Vader are always his short quotes because that's the essence so of powerful. Vader. Oh, short, sweet, and, short, sweet, and boom, dark yep. and brooding. Uh, one of my favorites is from the new Vader comic of 2015, talking about uh, si Silo or Five O Five. I can never remember the android oh, guy's the name. Clone of yep. And the quote is that I can kill you repeatedly is by far your most appealing trait. It's great, you know, it's a classic. You keep on just messing him up. Amazing. It's you know oh man, I just got a nine one four nine five six okay. You destroy Anakin. It's pretty close. I guess we could go back trail back to It looks like Nick Tyler guy, right? He's weak and I destroy him. Oh gotcha. That is another name no longer has any meaning to me. That uh he does say that, but he does not I don't know. If Not in that said, instance. No, know. but he just says, "What did he tell Luke?" Oh, but then he doesn't say that about the name. He because he does say the name Anakin Skywalker no longer has any meaning for me. So I guess that's what they're <laughs> looking for. One of them. Let's play some battle. <laughs> My dad's bald as fuck. Don't choke on your aspirations. Agreed. Yep. Like I said, the quotes are great, man. They're all great. Absolutely uh, beautiful. Or the Ellen. That's another quote from the Darth Vader one. That's similar to that one. Is, uh, Anakin's dead. I killed him. Yep. Bam. Da Vader says that himself. You know, he says that he's killed. He's killed Anakin. You see that person? Like, yeah. It's like, bald as fuck. It's like, hey man, everyone gets there eventually. If you yeah. live long enough. I'm just saying. <laughs> Susie, what the fuck? Oh, Should we trail back to Sai and do some verses real quick? Uh, mm -hmm. If we do, who will we probably gonna still stick with our Star Wars theme? So uh, we'll we'll go down to our verses and we'll throw a couple of our verses at you guys and tell us what you think. And Let's then we'll see. talk about what we think. We got a couple. We got Nomi Sunrider versus Darth Cadis. Wow. Nomi Sunrider versus That was Darth a Cadis. really good one, man. So I just find it interesting because they've shown that. some of the similar... Qualities. Qualities in what they do with their power <laughs> at times. Uh, and you might argue that... Uh, Either one of them could be argued to be more powerful, powerful than the other. other yeah. But Nomi Sunriders often been called a gleaming so, beacon of light yeah, in the, so in the Jedi Order. Someone who for thousands of years later was mentioned as the expert on battle meditation and force severance. And, and that's uh, why I'd have to give it to Nomi, bro. I love Nomi. I gotta give it to but Sunrider. when you look at that, uh, Dark Gaze, he is such a... And more so than those powers. The problem is I feel like Nomi Sunrider is such a strong 
force user, but I don't know how strong, strong of a light you force use. Yeah, lightsaber that's uses very shoot. true. Because that does sometimes come into things. I mean, that's the whole reason Luke beats Vader. Vader. Well, uh, then we never see. Sorry, my internet died on me. It happens. Did you guys? I have an old dog named Darth Vader. Oh man, that would be an awesome dog that, name. Did, did he? Uh, what did was he? Uh, was he not a me? It's like. No, I, no. I'd have to go with Sunrider in that battle, to be honest. Like, so many more years of tr- powerful force training. And are we ta- and Dark Kate is so, like... He was always an impetuous kid, yeah. yeah. And, like, despite the fact that he was a powerful force user, like, he just never respected the power of the force. And Naomi Sun- or Naomi Sunrider did. She respected the force greatly. Mm-hmm. I mean, it took a lot for her to use that uh, power on her friend, even. And she used it on someone who was probably one of the strongest Sith Lords to have ever existed up to that point. Basset Hound. Oh, man. Good dog. Good breed. And let's see, we got... That's pretty t- cliche. Oh, that was earlier from, I think... Only Old Republic in canon. Oh. Was his name Anakin when he was a puppy, though? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> that's a good one. Uh, so that's a pretty good point, too. Maybe we should do something for that or just, you know, canon stuff. Just unfortunately, canon. those uh, two characters are both non canon. That's true, I guess. Those two are both Legends characters. Our, so. our canon one is Revenge of the Sith Anakin versus Return of the Jedi Luke. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Return of the Jedi Luke or Revenge of the Sith Anakin? This is a heavily debated one most of the time. It's like, you know, this generally is what kind of tears the fans. It's like, I, I got bashed for it, by the way, I, this morning. I, I, and I'm gonna, I, I, I went with Anakin. I'm going to um, go with Anakin on this one because, and it's unfortunate because it's just because of when the movies were made and the placement of And the placement use. of time and And power, even just yep. the expanded universe having been pushed out so much after uh, the, the, the original trilogy, the Anakin displays a heavy, heavy usage of force powers. Now, in... The and comic books prowess. now, we see Luke doing the same thing, but Anakin still, he possesses great force powers, great probably force the powers. greatest force powers to ever exist and because he's purely, basically, a force being of at least 50% of him. He so has supposedly a, has the highest limited chlorine count, count period, of, all, yeah, of all time. I mean, even to make a, a reference. Says, I can't, yeah, he returned to the Anakin. Jedi, Luke, says Nick. Revenge of the Sith, Anakin, says Kimberly. Revenge of the Sith, Anakin, says Mostly Susie. Anagen, far, Anakin Revenge, Anakin, Anakin, far more passion. Yeah, that's a uh, good one. And he, my real argument for this comes down to, like I said, the more ability of force use, while Luke had mastered a bit of force use, he didn't use it in combat. They didn't show it in combat often. And, I, and I'll kind of try you know, and trail he, off of that a little bit and reference Obi- Anakin and Obi-Wan. He helped him take down a ship almost as big as the one that Darth Vader is on in the second movies. That's true. He took down a sh- He helped him as a child, adolescent, maybe a couple years worth of Jedi training. He stopped a giant ship with his master. Like, Luke couldn't do those things. And he wasn't shown to be able to. Ever. And, and like I said, a lot of that is the limitation, I think, of the films and then the expansion of the universe <laughs> Yeah, later. no legends. And so when you see no the new left. Luke and the new Luke in the comics is such a different Luke than the he old is. Luke. Very Only true. Old... <laughs> Darth Maul wins. Always, though. Anakin, emotionally Anakin, just lost his mother and was far more heated. Agreed. Anakin, there was a huge debate about this on my group. Yeah, it's Yeah, we heard about this. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think that was the debate I was in. They defeat Kylo in a saber duel. That was uh, heavily debated that Kylo had a huge phaser so, blast yeah, from a Chewie, phaser blast from which Chewie, is usually shown to stab. kill people in one shot. Yep, and uh, the stab wound. Yeah, the and a stab wound. Yeah. How did Ray defeat? Yeah, it's a little. Late. But uh, I agreed that that. But from mostly, and here's the other thing: while uh, Luke was a proficient lightsaber user. Anakin used a style of lightsaber fighting that Luke probably would have never would have never had known how to encounter. Um, at that and point. and even more than that, because he doesn't use his force fighting in conjunction with his lightsaber fighting, as did say Count Dooku, as did say most of the people who were beating up on Anakin in five, uh, uh, or to the fact that he had the the you know the low ground in episode yeah, six. Yeah, and that's that's the only real or, way you know that not he actually three, kind of sorry, lost. not episode 6, episode 3. I I always fuck up the timeline chron- chronology. And think about it, he's got like a way more heavily offensive style that's just kind of like stab 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 like it's very offensive. Luke has never really encountered that. No. There's Vader who has a more defensive style. Right. Obi-Wan, Yoda, defensive styles. 
he has a face like a very emotionally passionate offensive style that would be I think a lot that for would him be to really stop. cool Wesley if they were the star killer base but I think it was called star killer base because they had to kill a star right to power it yeah to like eat they a star to, I like, thought and that's why it was like a solar system killer like that Ray Ray is Anakin level Jedi that's how <laughs> I mean, but even then, like, yeah. Anakin didn't pick up the... Like I said, du he still loses to Dooku. Despite the fact that we know he's a prodigy, Dooku beats him because of years of experience and basically training and force mastery. Like, it's like, why do you lose? Because of cockiness, because of not enough training, because of not... Which in three, he excelled. All right, and I think that. that Luke episode six and Anakin episode six, the level of training is just different there. I think it's cool that Luke actually had a shorter red saber used for light whip defense. That was cool. They have that in some of the things. Uh, Ray, Kylo is noob. <laughs> Kylo is noob, too. All right, here's the thing. Kylo gets hyped a lot for two things. The blaster stop when which, he pauses the blaster blast, which, which we already talked about. All right, so first of all, every Jedi break. is fast enough to do this probably already. Now, whether or not it takes an extraordinary amount of force to stop a blaster bolt is arguable as Amir could do it. Um... <laughs> but it also can go through uh obviously ship holes etc stuff like that so you know it's arguable how it goes either way but you know we don't know how powerful exactly that makes him also why why waste all that energy when you can just deflect, just deflect. and that's what most of them choose to do so they don't waste any force energy now the reversal i think that was the other thing sending it back the reversal uh, that's a whole thing but that mm. it's something i don't know Somehow get off Jetta before it is wiped off the face of the planet. I don't know how you know they they don't they brush over that stuff. What if stormtroopers had a hundred percent accuracy and clothes had fifty percent? I mean it. A lot of characters would be fucked up. If I think if anyone had a hundred percent accuracy, you know some stuff would be just a difference. His emotional breakdown. Something I mean, I've struggled though. with is how Evazin and Ponda somehow get off. Oh man, yeah. <laughs> yeah, for real. Instead of killing people like Vader, he killed computers and walls. Yeah. And he I was, agree, he was pretty whiny. <laughs> well, he was a little bit of a whiny baby, but then so was Luke. It, it comes from the line. It, it. Anakin, a little bit. Uh, it's just kind of like, it come, he comes from a line of whiners, so no surprise. What if Anakin really joined the dark side because they didn't give him the rank of master? Mm, that had a little bit to do with it, though. Oh, I think it would. Yeah, yeah I think that, that had a lot a to do bit, with it. Yeah, that not making him a Jedi master kind of spurred denied. him, and then he was like, yeah, I guess I'm going to go be a Sith Lord then. Like, I guess they think I'm good enough, uh, so. Like, I, I'm not saying he was right to do so, but I'm saying that's definitely probably a reasoning that's in a his That's a huge mind. reasoning, yeah. I'm sure. And I think they even talk about that, like, later. He's like, you know, now am I good enough? Well, and think about it. They made it almost kind of seem like that's that's the tip top when you become a master, you know, that's, that's it. And they denied him the right to be the tip top. He'd be the Sith Lord. It's just kind of like, uh, things that played off in his mind. I mean, the Siths are, are very much considered emotional. Like that's the whole point of being a Sith. Jedis are not emotional at they're all. That's the whole point. And that, and that's a problem too. Yeah. Because that's they proven by Darth Revan. Even though they're supposed to sometimes be, you know, yeah, Darth, the whole Darth Revan storyline is pretty nice in that, that they talk about the problems that the Jedis face exactly. in the light side being that, you know, you, th there are a lot of things that are natural about the dark side that you have to embrace and eventually figure out and accept. Mm -hmm. Haters for not making Annie a master. Hello, but you know, then he might have been he Palpatine's. Just, yeah. And he it might have all just been worse. Yeah. Continue to won't allow us to see the full power of anyone in particular. True, but that's why we have to do comparisons based on feats, etc. Matt, the radar technician. Oh, man. Uh, all of the radar technicians are going to suffer. The rank lord sounds much better than master. I mean, they do, but don't they essentially cool. mean the same, the same thing? Same thing, basically. Uh, the so Lord and Master of the House, right? You know? The video of Kylo's undercover boss is priceless. Yeah, oh yeah, that's, that's the greatest. <laughs> it's like I'm Kylo Ren, and uh, he's like, hey, Ky we like, all hey, know Kylo. it's him. We all know. We feel so bad for him. He looks so <laughs> dumb, dumb and sad. sad. <laughs> Actually, Jedi's are emotional. They just can't show it, or they will turn to the dark side. That's all as the, the 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 point being that they they can't. They're not supposed to be too emotional, so they close off they all emotions. They have to emotion. close the emotional. But even even more than that, they're not allowed to love. They're not allowed to have Attached. They're not and, allowed to have And granted, that's because, oh, when that goes dark, you can go to the dark side. That's true. But because of that, 
you know, there's a lot of problems that arise from that. There's there's no there's a reason. That it's too a buckled down, and that's what and that's not what Anakin expected. And that's why the original Jedi, I think that was one of our other... Yeah, the original Jedi were actually very balance heavy. They were very like, you have to have a dark and light. They used both powers. They used Sith lightning. They used force push. They used both powers of both sides of the force and to create a good balance so that they would be powerful on both sides to balance. And even the planet they were on... If it was not balanced in both sides of the force, a storm would brew. One that could even destroy the planet. So it's just like it has to be in their in their ideology and their truth. But how it does had that explain to be balanced? Luke and Leia. Um, oh. What do you mean? Do you mean emotional wise, or because I mean they came after the Jedi Council stuff, so that kind of had been nullified anyway. Yoda tried to get Luke to listen, but well, Luke left. We, we haven't talked about any new Jedi Council as there would have been in the EU universe, where Luke eventually, eventually remakes makes the Jedi Jedi Council, but it's <laughs> and then it's cannon. destroyed again. <laughs> but he was trying to, and and Kylo just came along and sweep that up. Yeah, well, in the, in, uh, in the were you talking? Were you talking Legends? Yes. Yeah, in which that case he makes a whole new and that huge also gets swept Jedi up. Council. Yeah, it gets swept. I it never say. works out for Luke, man. <laughs> Luke never it just gets never it. Never works out. Oh man, poor dude. Um. Uh, sorry. Yeah, thanks for geeking out with us, Andrew. Go pay attention to your wife, the scruffy nerf herder. We'll we'll be, always be welcome here for more convos. Of course. Yeah. Always good night from Kansas, man. Come on back. Thanks, thank you so much. Thanks for coming out. I don't like the emotion slash power thing in anything. Very predictable. Yeah, it can be. Yeah. In Clone Wars, what is Yoda's dark part of it? Meaning you do what Yoda do is past the dark version of Yoda kind of seems stronger than Yoda in multiple ways. I wonder if that might not be because it's a version of an earlier version of Yoda. You know what I mean? A dark version of an earlier version of Yoda would be strong. Um, And I don't know what too much to make of that one, unfortunately. Hey, Brendan. Thanks for coming out, man. What's written on your wall? All kinds of names of people who have come Lots by the studio. <laughs> I got to go to school. See you later. See you later, too, Brandon. Thanks for coming by. We're actually only on for about another 15 minutes, uh, and we're going to cover some more quotes and facts and stuff and recommended reading, etc., as far as comics and stuff here in a minute. That's why and Luke is creating a new order in Episode Eight. Luke being the last Jedi and Rey being a new type of Force user order. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Like I said, that That's would be I'm interesting. I'm hoping it goes. I mean... Uh, so I think we should, like you said, should we go into the closing uh, statements as we got about 15 minutes left yeah, guys. might as well man um got a little bit of comic overview i don't really want to touch on too much um let's see. oh this book i don't think i have a few announcements uh you know we have so much upcoming series uh, if you haven't checked besides star wars stuff there's always other stuff going on uh dc's the button just started as well as secret empire Ooh, the yeah. button. I forgot about that starting. Did you, did you see Secret Empire? Oh, mm-hmm. man. It's going to be great, isn't it? Oh, it looks terrible. <laughs> oh, I hate come it. on. They both look good, but it's like awesome. I hate them both so much already. Like, just the co- like the darkness of like the people. Not like the actual storylines are going to be great. Um, You know, but even more than that, we have, you know, some classic classics that we want to tell you guys about like that you should go read specifically star wars related comic book classics Mm -hmm. um one of my favorites is uh probably tales of the jedi frida nad uprising yeah it's a great story story. that tells you a lot about the sith specifically to be honest with you i would recommend any tales of the jedi because mine was tales of jedi the sith war yeah, and they're all great. They're all Every Tales of good. the Jedi is like this super detailed account of like why Jedi, Jedi history is, is the way it is. The way it is, yeah. And, it's and so awesome. Even before that, there's Dawn of the Jedi, the Force Storm, which is kind of like the very first explanation of Jedi. Well, where Jedi, the Jedi originate, yeah, basically. Where they originate origin- from. Krypton is coming. We saw that too. Sorry, that was Ooh, nice, good Krypton theory. Where is Itchy Shin John or whatever his name is? I have no idea yet until they fit him in. Luke is like, I will train you the best way I know how. Now give me a piggyback ride. Yeah. <laughs> that would be amazing. Piggyback. That would be awesome. I would watch that all day. Um, Aside from that, the other ones I would do, you know, would be the Dark Lords of the Sith stuff. 
Absolutely. Because that is the other place where you see where they really split off and become this faction of the Sith. Uh, the other p people have mentioned in the uh, the base one when they say the Tales of the Jedi, the original Jedi, you'll talk about the Rakan too, which is mm -hmm. the other race of Force users. And the Darth Maul stuff, man. Oh, I the new stuff. That on there. Oh, the, the Darth new... Maul. Two... All the of old, it is good. All of it. The new Darth Maul. The new Darth, Darth Maul. Maul. 2000 Darth Maul. Death Sentence. Uh, but my recommended's got to be Darth Vader 2015. It's so good, man. It, it just tells through. so much more about Darth Vader and like what he was actually doing behind the Emperor's back. And it also tells us about how how Sidious was actually treating Vader pretty badly. Like, oh, all the time. It, all the time. He was like, I can replace you on a moment's notice. Like, if I find I'm a stronger some, force I'm going to get a machine gone. to replace you if it works. Yeah, like, exactly. He just is a like, asshole. Dude, I hate you. Get out of here. And then you my machine, recommended... Motherfucker. My recommended would be Anakin and Obi Wan, which covers some um, grounding that had never been covered before between one and two. That one started in twenty sixteen, was kind of a short shot, five issues, so not too long. Um, easy to get through in one day read. Still a good thing though. Yep. Oh yeah. You it do won't let you them? share this. Oh, I'm sorry, Susie. It's okay. We're about to end right now anyway. But thank you. Is Cry Krypton just the Gotham of soups? Little bit. Little yeah. Bit. That's what yeah. it seems like it's going to be. That's what it seems like it will be. Um, I think. That's about... Oh, we got some quotes. Yeah, we got a couple quotes on there. Um, I, I'll throw out a couple, you know. The one I really hits me from the new Vader one is he's always... This, this one is, I am well accustomed to killing children. Jeez. And that Darth Vader line just tells you everything you need to know, doesn't it? Oh, man. Um, I like your Sidious one on there. Oh, the Sidious quotes is pretty crazy, so... Uh, creating your own empire from within the empire, securing funds by open robbery from imperial treasuries, covering up the crimes by slaughtering those who expose you. Most impressive, Vader. You let your anger and pride guide you to the darkest places. That is our way. All you did in the shadows is most pleasing to me. You're everything I could have hoped for. And that's like Sidious' whole thing. Like He's only happy he with Vader's being him. like this fucking... <laughs> craziness Groot. yeah it's like whoa man may group uh will be making another context that's about less content was great and the winner got a free copy of rogue one as a gift also want to thank you guys for sharing this live stream our page hey thank you hey, so thank much you. for watching yeah. and joining like uh your guys's opinions and the information you bring that we don't have is what it's makes valuable it. i and mean well, and this is we what makes a convo with, oh, man yeah it's great Vader. isn't it genius that they hit luke on a sand planet considering that vader hates sand <laughs> <laughs> he does yeah he does Vader comic, love it. It's so it's great. Amazing. Oh, man, it is. They're so good. Uh, do we do have anything else? Guys, it looks like we're coming to the close of our of our session. Guys, thank you so much. This is much more than we expected. Oh, yeah, so many like, much wow. are And like I said, if we enjoy the Star Wars talk, we'll be doing more general, more general talks, talks. Or we'll have another uh, themed episode maybe next week for a different topic. Uh, we Like we said, we just got another trailer this week of Cloak and Dagger and uh, so many amazing things. Uh, ripped on all kinds of amazing be on the lookout uh we didn't show the shirts but we will be giving away one of three uh star wars shirts for one lucky winner one lucky winner tonight unfortunately we, got, we have to limit our shirt giveaways to one lucky winner one lucky uh from now on and uh we hope you guys enjoy and we hope we will show the the shirts later yeah guys we love talking to you come like the page and if you want to get in the group feel free to ask us request us or message us see you later